Yeah, you read that right. 5,000 miles on our Tusk Terabyte tires. Just hit it when we were down at the swell a couple of weeks ago. So, my thoughts on the Tusk Terabyte tires so far. Tell you what I think, tell you what's coming, tell you how these tires have progressed, how they've treated me, and let's just, let's just get into it. So I don't want this to drag out too terribly long, but I do want to give you a little bit of backstory as to why I bought this tire and why I bought this size of tire. I do cover this in all of my previous videos about them, but this is going to be kind of an all encompassing finale type review. So the, the factory tires that came with this machine were just, were just crap. We went to the Paiute trail for the very first time the year after the year we bought this and I destroyed the factory tires in about 600 miles. They were just, one of them was flat and the, the compound of the tire was so soft they just wouldn't hold a plug. They were just garbage. So by the time, as soon as I got home, I ordered these. And the reason I went with this tire, I went with a 12 inch wheel because I didn't, I didn't want to have to buy new wheels. I wanted to reuse the factory wheels, which I think is a decent looking wheel. And it just, you know, just for the cost savings, I wanted to utilize the factory wheels. And so staying with a 12 inch, there's really not a lot of options if, with this tire. I, di I didn't want to go any wider because I didn't want to make the machine any wider. So something nine inches wide that fits a 12 inch wheel, the choices were pretty limited. And these tires had been out for a little while and there were a few reviews on YouTube at the time and there was there was one YouTuber that I really liked and I, I trusted and he had these tires on his Razor Trail and was really enjoying them and I thought, well, let's give them a try for the price. Now at the time, they were, I think that I paid 90 or $95 a tire for these. They were, they were pretty cheap. So by the time I paid my local tire guy to mount them, I was into this whole deal, you know, under 500 bucks so i thought well 500 bucks i can't go wrong and i didn't want to go any bigger really than 27 because on on the maverick trails the rear tires are the furthest thing back now you'll have to disregard my tire carrier because so if that's not there the tires stick the farthest back of the machine so if you increase the overall diameter of the tire you actually increase the overall length of the machine and I needed this machine to fit in the garage of my toy hauler, which is exactly 10 feet from bulkhead to ramp. So I just couldn't go any bigger. I couldn't, even a 28, I probably couldn't have gone with. So I did end up over the factory tires about three inch, three eighths of an inch overall length. And I did gain about three eighths of an inch of ground clearance, but that's why I didn't go bigger. That's why I didn't go wider and wanted to use the factory wheel. So. Now, to be clear, these are the Tusk Terabytes. These are not the Aramid. When, when I bought these, these were the only Tusk Terabyte tires on the market. This was the only choice. So just so that we're clear, these are the 8-ply, not the 10-ply Aramids. So that's really the story of why I bought this size and why I bought this tire. And I, I've been going back through some of my older videos where I talked about these just to give you an idea of how, how they've worn and how things have progressed. I did a review at 1500 miles of these tires and I do have a new one. This one is a spare. This has never been on the machine. It has zero miles on it. And the, the tread depth is 21 30 seconds of an inch. So that's kind of my baseline of what we're working off of. But at 1500 miles, the tires were down to 17 30 seconds of tread. So I'd lost four 30 seconds, eighth of an inch in the first 1500 miles and the last time I found myself talking about them the machine had 3400 miles on it and they were down to 1530 seconds so kind of odd the first 1500 miles I lost 430 seconds and in another 1900 miles I only lost 230 seconds I don't, I don't know I don't know how that works I don't know how it happened I've always been pretty good about rotating them. You know, every spring I rotate them. I do it in an X pattern. So like this tire will go over there. Those two tires will swap and this one and that one over on the other side will swap. That way they not only get moved from front to back, but they also get spun around because you'll notice that as you, as you ride them, they'll, they'll wear on the front, they'll wear on the front of the tread block. So by turning them around, you get them to wear on the other side of the tread block. So I've always been pretty good about rotating them and 
the terrain that I gone in, you know, that I did the first 1500 miles really isn't any different than the terrain that we did in the following 1900 miles. They just, they just wore different. So here we are now at 5,000 miles and those front ones have 930 seconds and the back ones have 1230 seconds. So in 1600 miles, they've they've lost what six thirty seconds and three thirty seconds on the others um these use these i just rotated them to the back before we went to the san rafael swell these these were on the front but yeah they they've they the first the first 1500 miles they seem to wear quicker than the following 1900 and then they've just worn really very quickly since then. So I don't know if the compound of the tire is different. You know, if the tread blocks get softer as, as they, as you reach the bottom, I, that's, that's my theory. I, I no way to know that, but that's the only thing I can think of. They, they're, as they wear, they're wearing more quickly, but you can see there's still, there's still a usable, amount of tread on here really i mean if i if, if i knew i was never going to hit any mud in the next little while or anything horrible i could probably get you know another thousand miles out of these i don't know but my problem is is <clears throat> i have two rides coming up in the next month and a half and there's a really good chance i'm going to run into mud on both of those rides so i do think it's time to upgrade tires time to get a new set but yeah, that's just to give you an idea of how, how they've worn, you know, for the initial $500 investment to get 5,000 miles and plus, I, like I said, I could still use them longer. These tires don't owe me a thing. And now the first year I took it to Moab, I did develop a slow leak in one of the tires. I don't even know which one it is anymore. Um, and I, I think maybe I got some sand down in the bead of the tire. I don't know. But since that first trip to Moab, one of them has had a, a slow leak and it's not bad. It's, it's, it, if I let it sit here for in the garage, you know, give it a couple of weeks and it'll be, it's not totally flat, but it's low. So it's just something I've dealt with. I couldn't find the leak. And so it's just something that I dealt with. I mean, if I go for a ride for a weekend, you know, if I set the tire pressure on day one, they're going to be, they're going to last through that weekend riding trip. No problem. It's, it's that slow of a leak. And over the last year or so, two other tires have developed a slow leak and, it, and they're, they're even slower. I mean, this, it takes, it literally just sitting out here in the garage during the winter, it takes a couple of months for those tires to start to go flat. So it's just, it's, it's not that big a deal. It's just something that I've lived with, but not one of these tires have a plug. I have never had a flat i've never had a blowout there is not one single tire plug in any of these tires never have failed me never failed me and they've always gone where i've pointed them i mean these tires have been from south central utah all the way up to the panhandle of idaho and everywhere in between and they've always gone everywhere i point them and i i have talked to people you know i spend a lot of time on the forums a lot of time on facebook and i have talked to people that that have had terabytes and they don't and they don't like them and i don't know if they ride in terrain different than mine i don't know if their expectations are different than mine i don't know but for me these tires have always gone where i pointed them they've never let me down they have never let me down and they do they they seem like they were designed mostly for you know central utah desert and that kind of thing so two things I think I need to touch on a little bit. And as far as reviews that I've read and a lot of reviews say that they're bad in the snow and I can neither confirm nor deny that because I get back from the Paiute in October and this thing goes in the garage and it stays there till spring. So these have never, I've, these tires, I've never touched snow with these tires. So I have no idea. Just every review I've seen said they suck in the snow. That's whatever. The other one is mud. Now these are not a mud tire. They don't market them as a mud tire. They don't claim they're a mud tire. They're an all-terrain tire. So if you are looking for something that is good in the mud or mud specific, this is probably not it. Now, 
trail riding and that kind of thing that I do, I mean, I, I avoid mud whenever I can. I hate the cleanup. I hate the mess. I hate the problems. I, I don't like mud, but sometimes it's unavoidable. And we have come across mud holes. We've come across mud, I, I mean, a pit. Pit's a strong word, but we find mud now and then. It's just how it is. And those types of things, these tires have always have always got me through. I never had a problem. So deep mud, no. Your standard mud you're going to come across on the trail, these have done well. I mean, and now that they're wearing out, they're going to be less capable in the mud, I'm sure. But anyway, sidebar. So depending on where you live, if you live in, in the south southeast, I mean, I don't know how how they'll do for you out there. They do pretty well in the sand. They do exceptional in the rock. They do really well in the hard pack. That makes the steering in the machine a lot more predictable, a lot more consistent. I've just been very happy with them, and and, I, and there are people that that don't like them. So, to each their own. You just you take my word for what it's worth. And but they they've never let me down. I'm still happy. And I've always said that when these tires do wear out, when it's time for an upgrade. I'm going to buy another set of terabytes. I've always said that. And I'm still, now that it's time to do it, got to put my money where my mouth is, right? But, and I am still 99% sure I'm going to buy another set of terabytes, a, a different size. I did buy another, I bought a set of wheels. I did step up to a 14 inch wheel just to give me a few more options in sizes. I still need to stay at nine inch width. For the tire, I can go a little bit bigger now because I don't put this in the garage of the toy hauler anymore. I always haul it on the trailer behind it. So increasing the overall length, that's been done with the tire carrier. So I can go bigger. And again, I, I, I am 99% sure I'm, I'm gonna buy terabytes. But here's the thing, Tusk has those new megabyte tires out now. And I'm really, I don't know if I'm a big fan of how they look, I don't know, but uh, they just come out. There isn't really any long-term reviews at the moment that I can find. But, you know, when I bought these tires, it was kind of the same situation. There wasn't a lot of long-term reviews about them at the time either. But, I, and I've watched a couple of videos from people that have gone from terabytes to megabytes. And they do say the megabytes have a little bit more traction than the terabytes do. And they're, they're the same, from what I can tell, same basic compound as the terabytes, same basic carcass as the terabytes. So they should, in all reality, wear, you know, as well as these. But if you look at the megabytes closely, it's almost like they took every other tread block out. So it's just a lot more open tread design, which, you know, is gonna make them louder on pavement, louder on hard pack. You know, and I do have to ride some pavement to get up to my riding area here at home. A lot of the places we go, there are sections of pavement that you have to go through. So, I mean, there's a good chance those tires are gonna be noisier. And because of the open tread block pattern, they, they may not last as long. I, I mean, the jury's still out. They just haven't been out long enough to tell. But one huge benefit of the megabytes that I can see, and one drawback in my mind as I look forward to buying another set of terabytes, is when these tires were new, these things would pick up rocks between the tread blocks, decent sized rocks, and huck them. I mean, they would whack up against the inner fender, they'd whack up against here, they'd shoot straight up in the air, sometimes they'd shoot in front of you, and then you'd drive right into them. So they'd shoot rocks out the back and you'd pity the person that was behind you. I mean, these things would pick up rocks and huck them like you would not believe. And I just, I, it was something that I lived with, and as they wore down, where there was less tread to pick up rocks, they stopped picking up rocks over time. It's not, that's not something that I have dealt with for a long time, really. Once I hit probably 1,500, maybe 2,000 miles on them, that was just less of a thing. But I remember in the beginning, that was, that was it was annoying. And the way the megabytes blocks are, you're not gonna pick up rocks with those. They're just more open tread. So. And then there's also that new BF Goodrich tire that's that's pretty attractive too, but man, they're expensive. But that's another option too. So I I have the wheels, I have I have the valve stems, I have lug nuts, I ha literally have everything I need, except that I just can't pull the trigger on tires yet. I just 
99% there. I just, there's that 1% that is still just, just nagging at me. But I don't know, what do you think? I mean, it, what, do you, what do you guys think as far as options go? I mean, it, I gotta stay nine inches wide, 14 inch wheel right now. That's my really, my only limitations. But I don't know, tell me what you think. But that's where we're at. I mean, I think it's about time to retire these even though there are, there are a few miles left in them. But for some of these big rides coming up, I need a I need a new set of tires. I need something, I need something a little more, a little more aggressive. Now down at the swell we did a couple of weeks ago, they were they did so good. I mean honestly, in the in the heavy really powdery sand, they did propel us forward. They got us through it, but it was it, the machine kind of drifted all over the place. It was it was I mean it was fun, but. They did get us through the sand, but over the rocks and through a lot of that stuff, these tires were amazing. But I don't feel like I've lost any traction with them at 9.30 seconds and 12.30 seconds than when they were new. Now, if I got into a mud hole or in the snow, that would probably be a different, that would probably, be a, we'd have a different discussion. But for, for what the stuff that I ride it in, they still work great. I mean, they, re <laughs> they really do. So, Anyway, let's just wrap this up with that's what they look like. After 5,000 miles, I've, I've bragged about these tires. I've always talked really, spoken really highly of these tires. I've always been very happy with them. And this is a pretty decent milestone for any off-road tire like this, right? I mean, if, if you've spent any time watching this channel, you've seen where we've gone, you've seen where we've been and you've seen what we've put these tires through. If you are new to this channel, take a look around, go check out some of our ride videos of, of where we've been with these tires and what we put them through and, and what they've done. They've always gone everywhere we've pointed them. They've never let me down, not once. I've never run out of traction. They've been good to me, they really have. That's kind of why I probably should just buy another set. Yeah. Look at that, 5,000 miles on those tires. The machine itself has almost 5,700 at this point, right close to 5,700. It's been, the machine itself has been good too. I mean, you've, you've seen me talk about the Maverick Trail, been very happy. But we appreciate you guys watching, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Thanks for watching the video. Like it if it was helpful. I appreciate it if you do give it a thumbs up. That seems to help this channel out quite a bit. You just take a minute to, Click that like button down below. We'll see y'all in the next one.